That's a lot. That's a lot of zeros. Generic control that that goes move here. Back with another death battle. Today we have probably one of the most well-known, if not the most controversial, Goku versus Superman. Uh, apparently, I've been warned about this one ever since I started doing death battles. This one is apparently way wrong. They even admitted about like lying about stuff. I'm not really sure. It's a really, really long video, so that's going to be exciting. I guess they're going to break down all the science and stuff. I'm not sure why this video was 32 minutes long, but all the other ones are like 10, 15 minutes long. Not really sure. Maybe this was like a season finale or the start of a new season. I'm not really sure. You can check out my last video, which is Pikachu versus Blanca. I'll leave that video right up there. I'll also link down below the description. Also, be playlist my channel with all of my other death battle reactions. So far, I think I am 9 and 4. Uh, Corey, so if you want to update that, I'm pretty sure I'm 9 and 4. Either 9 and 4 or 9 and 3. I'm not really sure. I don't think I'm really going to count this one because they said they got it wrong. So the information that they're going to feed me is going to be pretty inaccurate because I don't really know Goku or Superman because I've never watched Dragon Ball Z. I've only watched Dragon Ball Z Abridged and I've never seen a Superman movie or read any Superman comics. So uh, all the information I get from this is going to be what they tell and apparently that's not true. So I guess we're not going to count that one. Shout out to the patrons down below to get these videos a day early and uh, they allow me to not have a paywall on the channel and all my insane patrons will get entered in for a chance to win a signed duck here in a couple of days. So... Let's go ahead and jump on into Goku vs. Superman. It's going to be a long video. Let's just jump on into it, though. I've never seen Dragon Ball Z, only Dragon Ball Z abridged, and I've never watched Superman movie or read a comic of Superman, so we're not going to count this one. To brave new like, worlds, like, <laughs> these two alien saviors are legendary. Apparently this one's really and controversial. everybody wants to know who would kick whose ass in a fight. And I mean everyone. Goku, the tenacious Super I, I don't. And Superman. The like, I'm going to learn a lot about these two in this episode. No a lot. Are left okay. Unanswered, we will be Let's go Goku every food. official resource for both combatants. Though the he original just a missile and presence, snapped it. No mistranslations allowed. Also, as he was retconned and rebuilt in 1986, we will be examining the modern Superman. Oh, 1986 and newer, okay. Didn't know that new superpowers on the fly and destroy entire solar systems by sneezing. Probably a good idea. He's whiz and I'm boom. He could and it's destroy our job solar systems by sneezing. Weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Oh boy, this this is this is this is a controversial one, okay? In collaboration with a... Wow. Lots of collabs in this one. Team 4 Star, yo! Dragon Buzzy abridged! Sorry, Matsuako X. I think they, that's the Team Four Star member, pretty sure. Animation by Jordan Blake. Okay, theme music by Blake Robinson, Synthetic Orchestra. Ben Singer and Chad James. Directed by Ben Singer. Goku vs. Superman. Lots of build up for an episode that was not uh, received very well. That's Goku with his tail. Kakarot was born to a low class Saiyan warrior on the planet Vegeta. He narrowly escaped the extinction of his entire race like when he was sent to Earth with a single simple mission. Destroy everything! Then he conveniently bumped his oh, head really? and forgot about it all! Dubbed Goku by his adoptive grandfather, Son Goku. his life revolves around He's 53?! He cares He's only 5 down. Else, unless food is involved. Can I have another bowl, please? <laughs> At 12 years old, he was trained by Master oh, Roshi and going. Kame Sen and Ryu, which pushes oh, a person God. to superhuman levels. Complementing his Saiyan biology, Goku's superhuman strength speed okay. and senses skyrocketed. He developed numerous fighting techniques. I guess that was who trained him. After image and the dragon throw, his trademark grapple. At 15, I didn't know it was called that. Okay. So powerful that the only worthy teachers left were gods and a talking cat, but Piccolo. mostly gods. He it means god now, pal. Power level was already enormous. It's over nine thousand. Not yet. Was is that Vegeta's? Original voice actor from the dub? I've never heard that. False. In the Japanese manga, Goku's power level at that time was 8,000. But it doesn't even matter because power levels are absurd. The entire point of introducing them was to show how unreliable and meaningless they were. By really? relying on power levels, the villains constantly underestimated the heroes. Therefore, using them to judge hey, the it's, um, abilities is pointless. Oh, it's, Besides, it's the Ginyu the Squad. Says that no, episode 20 recently got re-uploaded. Dragon Ball Encyclopedia. It states power levels eventually become That's immeasurable. Nice. Not because they are so high they can't be measured, but because the characters and the audience have realized just how futile these numbers are. Yes. I'm still ten times stronger than you are. That may be power true, levels are BS. But strength isn't the only thing that matters. 
We cannot judge Goku by his power level, nor can we through no power. power scaling, the theory that he can achieve the same feats as lesser Dragon Ball characters. That's boo, Goku's isn't it? Goku's abilities are tailored to his personal training <laughs> and experiences, Captain not to mention anatomy. Frieza. However, Goku does have a Yo, these voice actors are throwing me off. He is metaphysical, made up of things such as vigor, courage, and being in one's true mind. It's basically okay. a kind of natural life force uh -oh, energy and is a fundamental component of Taoist medicine and martial arts. Oh, and uh, it's not magic. Dragon Ball creates a very it's distinct magic. difference between ki and magic. Ki is dependent on the physical Does ability of the user, and magic users like Bobbity are clearly using something Bobbity. different. Goku harnesses and manipulates his key energy. Into That's the Majin guy. I learned that from Cell like Key blasts, energy barriers, and the solar flare. Disc, oh, which he totally stole from Krillin. The solar flare blinds <laughs> opponents, and the spirit bomb puts energy from other things into a giant death ball that takes yep. freaking forever to make. And energy yep. taken from Dragon Ball Z Bridge must be voluntary. The spirit bomb is filled oh. by positive energy, which is only effective against those filled with negative energy, aka Frieza. evil. In the Super Android 13 film, Goku actually absorbs the key gathered from the spirit bomb, becoming one with it, transforming and manipulating That's OP. the energy himself. But his two best moves are the Dragon Fist, where he supercharges his punch with a golden key dragon, and the one and only Kamehameha, the a giant focus beam which every kid in the world has always wanted to do. Don't lie, you've tried it. Goku also I have it. Never. for telekinesis Not and high-speed flight. He can even sense the power of of other key sources, then teleport directly to them with instant transmission. Which is light speed! Mm. You dematerialize and it's travel trunks. as a mass of light. Yo, these voice actors. This is another mistake in translation. According to the original manga, instant transmission is, well, instant. instant. It's only flaws that it requires concentrated focus. Ah, it's not good! I can't concentrate! Also, I can't concentrate. Bots. Wait, what? Is there no Let's limit to this key thing? There is. Goku all? draws from a finite pool of key energy. So to increase his power, Goku perfected the art of Kaioken. This amplifies Goku's key. Oh god, yeah, Kaioken. I learned about this. Defense, Comment section. So on. Only one problem. It puts a giant strain on his body and could even kill him. Yes. Times 20. Times 20. Goku does not have to rely Teacher's solely death. on his key. He wields the power pole, a magical staff which expands and contracts. When he's hurt, eating so a sensu bean heals him up. And to get around, he rides the flying nimbus, a flying cloud which probably tastes like cotton candy. Still, the Kaioken Why would you was Goku's trump card for some time until a fateful battle with the tyrant Frieza, who pushed Wait, Goku what? past his limits to achieve the legendary form of Super Saiyan. Okay. There are four different levels of Super Saiyan, the each drastically Super boosting Saiyan. his power. Like the Kaioken, each form does burden his body, though Goku has trained to minimize power, it. Base power Super Saiyan 50. 3 multiplies the already combined okay. power of Super Saiyan, Saiyan 4 is insane. 4, but comes at a horrible Great price. Ape. That hair. Oh, and it pretty much destroys his body while he's using it, but my god, the hair! Fortunately nice. for Goku, the life-sapping Super Saiyan 3 form would be trumped by his <laughs> final <laughs> transformation, Super Saiyan 4. This form alters his body to better okay. appear the 4,000 times power increase. Complete with pink that was baby. burn eyeshadow. Fear the ultimate Super Saiyan form. 4. Like I said, with I do react to Cell Versus. Minus so I've learned a little bit Goku from that in the comment section. self-control, becoming more violent and instinct prone. When I'm at this power level, it's hard for me to listen to reason. I just lose control. The voice actor. Goku's greatest strength is Not his tenacity what I and never give up attitude. He does and not fight appetite. to defeat others. He fights to defeat himself. However, this may also be his greatest weakness. He prefers a fair fight, eager to see his opponent's maximum potential. Oh my god. He's about to reach his maximum. This could be your last chance. I want him to reach his maximum. I want oh god. At his best. Yeah, but don't fight semi perfect cell. Stake. Fight perfect well, cell. Hindsight is 2020. Oh, and although Vegeta he's more than tough enough to survive in a vacuum, he clearly needs oxygen, so no breathing in space. Plus, well, Goku's not very bright. Despite some basic schooling from Roshi, Goku has never had a day of certified formal education in his life. It took That's him years apparent. just to learn how to drive. But why the hell why does Goku he need to drive his cloud? A car? Even so, Goku understands his weaknesses. To him, a formal education would just be a waste of time. He is already a genius. Hey, it's perfect cell. Arts. Why do you go through him? If he does get the hell beaten out of him, he improves with every fight. And that is what Goku is all about. He well, he's the same. He has a trait. And bursting limits, and has overcome every obstacle in his way. Even marriage. Goku <laughs> might just be the greatest martial <laughs> artist in fictional history. What? What are you?
I am the hope of the universe. Are I these am the, the actual... answer to all living things that cry out for peace. Yo, this has to be. Also, that was to good. Yeah, it Nightmare to you. That's very cringy. <laughs> now we have Superman. I know nothing bus. about Superman. I've seen some clips. Like, he pushes the bus out of the... Yeah. I've seen, like, clips of one of the Superman movies. Hal was born to a high-class scientist on the planet Krypton. He narrowly escaped the destruction of his home world when his father sent him to Earth with the goal of preserving human life. Well, Man. what a coincidence! It was ever the whole saving human life thing. After landing on Earth, he was found and raised by the Thirty nine. He six foot three. And weren't they surprised when they found out he was an was alien with superpowers? Like. After discovering his true heritage, Clark refused to accept his Kryptonian side. He subconsciously uh. developed mental barriers that blocked him from attaining his full power, which he would work to uncover throughout the rest of his life. Stupid power limiting brain. After graduating college in <laughs> two years money? and traveling oh. the world as a secret superhero, Clark moved to the city of Metropolis as an investigative reporter and donned the red and blue to publicly announce his presence as the Superman. Sounds similar to Spider-Man. Justice in the American way until he renounced his American citizenship. My old man Clark kept his identity Why? a secret with the brilliant disguise of nerdy glasses and glasses. wimpy demeanor. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Proving that people only see what they want to believe. Gla Oops, wearing glasses is a huge difference. Surprisingly profound. <clears throat> like... <clears throat> Since then, his power difference between you wearing glasses and contacts. Mostly due to the writers doing whatever Much the hell they please. Well, there is a legitimate explanation. Superman's powers are dependent on the ultrasolar rays of the sun. By absorbing yellow or blue sunlight, his power rises. Blue sunlight. However, he cannot absorb sunlight from a red star. So, if you take away a yellow sun, you slowly take away Superman's powers. He's solar powered. Oh, okay. They call him the world's first superhero, but oh, sounds more healed. like the world's first hippie to me. Now, the intensity of solar radiation disperses the further away it gets from its source. So oh, we're getting science and science. The, sun, the more solar radiation he'll absorb. So he gathers more power the higher so he gets. So flying into the sun. He is a hippie. In the Justice League series, Our World's at War, <gasps> Superman actually spent 15 minutes inside the sun. When he resurfaced, huh? he was powerful enough to effortlessly move planets. He can also hear sounds oh. millions of miles away, seeking through anything but lead, and spot things moving faster anything than light. He can see at a subatomic level and hear through the vacuum of space. Somehow, how? He that can even physics. See your what? Soul. That doesn't make what? any sense. It happened. Well, weird abilities aside, Superman can freeze his enemies in ice or create hurricanes just by breathing. And to top it all off, he shoots laser beams from his eyes. His heat vision can oh, be expanded casual. to encompass anything within Superman's sight and reach temperatures hotter than the sun. He can incinerate entire planets in a staring contest. However, heat vision does drain his solar power much faster uh, than any uh, other ability, especially when he amps it up. Okay. Oh, he's and just evaporating and don't run or anything. Vision can reach microscopic levels invisible to the human eye. Heat vision. Focus through your pupils like a scalpel. Instant what? lobotomy. Oh, what? Superman can vibrate his body fast enough to phase through attacks, even turn invisible. Huh? By vibrating to just under light speed, Superman can use just the infinite under. mass punch. The speed causes the relative mass of his fist to increase immensely and hits with the force of a supernova, which explodes at a force of 10 which octillion is megatons. Thanks, That's a lot. Calendar. In comparison, this is the That's star, a star the most powerful bomb mankind has ever yep. tested. 50 megatons. So that punch is like 200 septillion super nukes. That's 20. That's a lot. Inches. That's a Superman lot of zeros. Strong, but a genius with a super brain that can process information <laughs> thousands of times faster than an average human. He is capable of strategic fighting even he's while not traveling human. eight times the speed of light. Oh, he's Wonder an Woman? expert in disabling opponents through pressure point combat. And once fought he demons to, in Valhalla though. alongside Wonder Woman and Thor. For 1,000 freaking years, Wait, Thor. he's even learned how to protect his mind from telepathic attacks. What? I heard your telepathic shout before, but my mind is protected from anything deeper by a series of psychic blocks. Best I've seen, too. He also studied two Kryptonian oh, okay. martial arts, Torquasm Rao and Torquasm Vo. Orgasm what now? Torquasm, Torquasm Rao is a hard martial art in which Superman enters the Theta state, a real-life phenomenon theta. in which a person becomes okay. extremely receptive to information and instinct. Torquasm oh. Vo is a mental martial art with which Superman can fight off mind domination and illusions, or even counterattack. 
In order to master That's pretty important. Power, Superman needed to break through his own self-created mental blocks. Like how when he was younger, he believed he needed to eat food and breathe oxygen like humans. When he can really Wait, just does he survive not? on solar energy alone, like some weird plant man. And thanks to some I guess he flew the sun, does he not? He managed to tear these barriers down and become the true Superman capable of amazing feats. Yeah, like when he obliterated an F5 tornado with a round of applause, or when he was the filling for a planet sandwich, or held a mini black hole in his hand. Oh, or the time what? he dragged the freaking Earth around. He did what? How? Superman has survived Bro, some what? pretty crazy things. That's a bullet like to the eye. Hit him with 15 supernovas to the face. That was like 15 suns exploding in his face. I just said that. Exactly. Probably just powered him. Maybe, but he has survived other supernovas before. When he takes a hit, his super dense molecular structure and bioelectric aura protects ah. him and his suit. Holy crap, he sounds invincible. Not exactly. He, he kind of is. Where's his flaws? Be depleted over Kryptonite? The course of a battle if he takes too much damage or remains out of sunlight for too long. This is how the monster Doomsday was able to kill him. Oh, sorry, Doomsday. not kill, put him into a healing coma. <laughs> healing coma? He really? Sounds like plot armor to me. Weaknesses, like the famous kryptonite, radioactive fragments of his home world which bring him to his knees. Any prolonged exposure will eventually kill him. He also That's has no good. special resistance to magical attacks. And he always well, gets all hung good up good thing on he doing is the not right magic. Thing, even if it makes his life miserable. He does not fight for himself, but to protect others. Even the buildings in Metropolis are more oh. valuable to him than his own life. Buildings. What buildings? That's not a building anymore. Point is, Superman spends more time defending the city than actually improving his own ability. But remove all those pesky feelings about saving He's people melting and somebody. look out! Guys. I feel like I live in a world made of cardboard, always taking constant care not to break something, to break someone. What oh, we mad. have here is a rare opportunity for me to cut loose and show you Why? just how powerful I really am. We get you clap. All right, the all right. Are um, set. let's end this debate like, once and for all. Like I said, my record is like nine and four. Um, I'm gonna just go with Superman, given that information. Uh, but we're not counting that because Look, apparently they got it wrong and the information play. they got was it's wrong and I don't have any. So, let's see how this goes. I mean, this was a big video for them. Also, Don't random worry, plane crashes. This looks like a job for Super Whoa! Super Whoa! Earlier today, Superman heroically rescued Metropolis from disaster once again. The it man of plane. tomorrow hey, saved trunks. a downed Yo. airliner which would have crashed. Superman, huh? Wow, he looks really so. strong. What, that pretty boy ass clown? Please, I could kill him with my eyes closed. Even faster Wait a minute. than stupid transforming hedgehog. Just look That's at him four star. wearing his underwear on the outside. I bet it chased. Bulma. Don't be so sure. Hmm? I sense him. He's strong. Stronger than anyone I've ever fought. Are you serious? Finally, someone as strong as me. This is like a bridge. It's just like a bridge. Why are you so happy about this? You said Tama? It's only a matter of time before he destroys the planet. Nimbus. Nimbus. Okay. That was that was cool. We had a little bridge thing at the beginning there. Is there a Superman abridged? Is that a thing? Hey there. Hi. Uh, hello. You look pretty You're strong. Both Let's fight. Fight? Well, that's not really what I do. Oh. I like how. Why do they always start with like a weak attack? Oh boy. You know. This is gonna be fun. You're insane. Like, if you're gonna have a first attack, make a statement. Alright, now we have the fighting. This is gonna be a long fight, isn't it? Or is the explanation gonna be long? Okay. You think jumping off as fast as he did would, like, break some windows? Oh, bye. He seems fine. Kaioken times blood. Kaioken times two. Oh, he actually hit him. Huh. 
Oh, hey, yeah, yeah, just, they can both pretty much teleport. Like that. That looked like it hurt. I, I, I can't move. So, you're an alien too, huh? What did you Correct. do to me? Obviously. Didn't work at first, but my x-ray and microscopic Since vision let me find your body's weak points. You How is that working? Why is it floating? What is that? Don't worry about it. It's a sensu bean. Ah, sensu sensu beans are gonna what, heal ya. No. No, not those are sensu beans. This. Now. Super Saiyan time. What? Super Saiyan. Just two. Or is that just oh. Super Saiyan? Yeah, the Super Saiyan, then the Super Saiyan 2, okay, 3, and 4. Blondie, what's going on? Bye. Hi. Oh. Cat girl. And a super saiyan. Ow. They always like. They always show like somebody getting punched to the ground and they get hit and they bounce back up. Do you realize the force also Lex Corp? Isn't Lex lose like the bad guy in the uh, DC? Well, this might take a while. What? Kryptonite, because Lex Corp. Oh. Now. Huh? Hey, what are you oh, doing? he wants a fair fight. No. Goku, you're an idiot. Is that rock hurting you? Is that rock hurting you? The rose into the solar system. A bye. There. Okay, let's go. What? Why? I want to beat you <laughs> at your best. It's no fun if it's not fair. Gee, thanks. Gee, that oh gets kicked in the face. Oh, uh... <laughs> voice actor. <laughs> you just wonder what it's like being the voice actor in that. Yep, because he can see that. Uh, what? Uh, that's a car. Surprise. Next time, Did that miss? Your blind spot. Oh, he's actually underneath the car. Now it's Super Saiyan 2, because the electricity. Okay, laser eyes. Is, is the sun setting? It looks like the sun might be setting. Where's Yamcha at all this, you know? I'm sure Yamcha can win this. Feels like... Bye! Ow. Magic. The game's not as fun when you're losing, is it? Game? You think game. this is a game? It is a game. I haven't even begun to play. Is he gonna fly into the sun? I think I think he's going to the sun. Instant transmission to the sun? Goku can't be in space though. Okay, they're on Namek now. I think. No, it's not Namek, it's Sora. My bad. Namek was blue. Yeet! I don't think it's coming back. Or is that Super Saiyan 2? Oh, great. Not another one. Or is that Super Saiyan 3? I don't know what but They said something about, something about the long hair. It might be Super Saiyan 2. It might be 3. It might be 3, though. Maybe he'll turn red before. He can even keep up with Super Saiyan 3. What oh, makes okay, him so three. strong? He's Attacking an alien. My mind, huh? That's gotta hurt. Ooh. That's a crater. Solar flare. Is there gonna be anything in there? Nope, I don't have to pause it. My I have to Um, why are there portals? I've got a bad feeling about this. Are they breaking everything? Now Here Super Saiyan 4. Again. It's over, Superman. Nobody is stronger than change. Super Saiyan 4. My ultimate form! Ultimate form, huh? About time you ran out of hairstyles. The got him. He went from a blonde to a... To a brunette? I don't know. Black hair. 
Oh, that's how fast you're moving, eh? Also, the animation for this episode is sick. Try to be frozen. Didn't work. Hi. And he's still fine. Have to get above those clouds. Oh. Oh no, you don't. But Goku can't be in space because he does need oxygen. You are in space. Okay. Sounds dangerous. Oh, he's doing Kaioken now. So Kaioken in Super Saiyan 4. With the Kamehameha. Too bad he's sending Superman into the sun. He'll be back. Stronger. Oh, he's not he's back normal. Wait, he's there's no Stronger. way he's still alive. It's it's the sun. He's using Is Superman the sun. just a buff plant? I'm I'm drained. Sun, lend me your energy. Oh, okay. Spirit bomb from the sun. They're both using the sun. He's healing inside of the sun. Are you gonna throw a spirit bomb into the sun? That's a big spirit bomb. That's taking you forever to charge up. What are you gonna do with that, Goku? Oh, he's absorbing that. Okay. That's a lot smarter than throwing it into the sun. Or did he absorb it? No, he definitely absorbed it. It turned into something else. I feel like that would probably destroy the Earth. But they didn't. Okay. And the Earth exploded. Good going, you two. There's no way this ends in a draw, right? But now there's no Earth, so does that mean Goku can't breathe? Man has blue eyes. It's okay. over. It's finally over. We never have to hear Now a lot of people disagree again. with this. And Explain me what they did wrong. Be okay, because I don't know the Goku, show. But sometimes tenacity only prolongs the inevitable. Superman's like is it given the information that they he gave me in this and what I know from this? With his own static electricity. Goku did not understand so, Superman's connection why I said to the Superman. sun and would not think to teleport him to a red star. Even if he did figure it out, he would run the risk of teleporting him to a blue star, which actually increases Superman's power. And if Goku blue stars destroyed are a thing? the sun, the supernova would blast all the way past Mars and incinerate him. So it ultimately comes down to who is stronger, faster, and tougher. Okay. The Strength. Force okay, at least they're breaking it down. The is this going to be a regular thing now? ...is about 1,000 times less than the object's mass. The Earth weighs in just under 6.6 sextillion tons. How do you weigh that? This means Superman is strong enough to move 6.6 trillion tons. But since his solar power can rise infinitely, this is nowhere near his maximum strength. Infinites are scary. Quintillion tons. That's three times your record. While being timed by okay. Max Lord, Superman flew to the sun and back in less than two minutes. That's 9.4 billion kilometers per hour. Not to mention he was fighting Wonder Stripper the whole time. True. Wonder so Stripper, wait, they fought? Faster. According to Batman, he can fly at least 17 billion kilometers per hour. And nobody argues with Batman. D the Man durability. of Steel can survive the impact of multiple supernovas, each with yes. about 10 octillion megatons of force. So Superman's That's a big number. and skills are definitively measured. However, Goku's are not and are difficult to judge. Not only does Dragon Ball heavily abuse cinematic time, but Goku's final adventures in Dragon Ball GT are incredibly inconsistent due to his untimely transformation into what? a child. Wow, the room oh, GT, a yeah. somehow. As Ki is dependent on the physical body, his child form likely could not handle his own Ki, sending his power into flux. It can't take it. It's too weak. My older body was more developed. 
And Wait, he's aware of having an auto body? Future Goku, because that would require a ridiculous amount of assumptions. Not to mention, we'd have to use Future Superman, who's pretty what is much God. Superman? So like Superman, no, he's God. What? After experimenting with dozens of different theories, we discovered an ironclad method to finding Goku's That's limits, bubbles? which we call the gravity formula, based around his training and increased gravity. Due to his yeah. style of training and Saiyan heritage, Goku increases his abilities proportionate to the amount of force he trains under. Saiyans are born with a unique ability to fight anywhere. While in base form, Cracking Goku guy. could lift just under 40 tons. This is equivalent That's to it? 586 times normal Earth gravity, which we will oh. use in the gravity formula alongside the Super Saiyan power increases to calculate Goku's maximum potential. Multiplying okay. the 40 tons by the Super Saiyan forms means Big he numbers. can push up to 160,000 oh, tons not that much. Super Saiyan 4. I say that. Pick up a continent, when you're talking about wife. Superman <laughs> doing sextillion. Right after Goku trained on King Kai's planet, which has gravity 10 times stronger than Earth's, he flew across Snake Way Road as fast as possible to save his friends. It took him yep. 28 hours. Impressive, since that's 1 million kilometers long. Except it's filled with curves, and Goku flew straight over it. So how far did he actually travel? By we comparing Goku's height to a single spike, we can measure each curve. We can then remove Wait, those really? curves from the overall length. Okay. So it turns out Goku actually flew 307,000 kilometers, nearly 11,000 kilometers per hour. To see how fast his base form so is by fast. the end of the series, we run the snake weight number through the gravity formula to find that his top speed clocks in at over 2.5 billion kilometers per hour. That's pretty over fast. two times the speed of light. Which is not possible. We can determine Thanks Goku's to durability laws of physics. through this bomb, which the brilliant Dr. Jiro designed to kill Goku at <laughs> age 25. When his maximum 25. potential was Kaioken times four. That was intended for Goku. It was intended to be a large Scans of the bomb display a TNT measurement of 657. That's Boba very says blurred. the bomb could destroy the Earth, so this is likely measured in quadrillion megatons. Since it takes at least 53 quadrillion megatons of force to destroy the Earth. How do we so know that? So in his final <laughs> form, Goku can survive up to nearly 35 sextillion megatons. Not bad. Goku doesn't rely solely on his physical abilities. He amplifies his strength and durability with ki. But even That's though his finger. ki reserve cannot be measured, we can determine his maximum output. See, his ki attacks do not force him backward unless he allows them to. Even when firing upward at full power, the ground beneath him remains untouched. Therefore, according to physics, his maximum output is at most equal to the amount of force he can withstand. Luckily, we just okay. calculated that with a Jiro bomb. All right, now that we've determined Goku's Ro maximum no kind of potential, bomb. let's compare it to Superman. It takes oh, holy shit! Not yeah. even close! Now, we yeah. can keep throwing feats and equations around, but in the end, numbers cannot measure what Goku and Superman are capable of. They are both ultimate heroes, solutions to daunting yeah, problems, and you can't really bring numbers of the impossible. This, you know? The difference is at the core of their character. Goku has never been invincible. He has very clear limits and must overcome those limits to solve the problems at hand. That's the whole yeah, point. The Superman's on the other hand, Why is Superman's Krillin's head so big? The Whoa. The best, but of an immigrant facing the challenge of home versus heritage. After accepting his alien side, Superman has reached his full potential, which under the endless power of the sun is essentially limitless. In short, Superman is as strong as he needs to be. So what happens when you pit a man with the power to break sense. any limits against another who has no limits in the first place? Well, only one has limits to give at all. Goku just Kyle can't keep up with a man of steel. The winner is Superman. Is Superman. Kind of. Yeah, okay. Um I understand why people think that that is uh super controversial and why they think it's wrong because they have Superman winning by a large large uh margin. Oh uh, man, I'm so glad we got a little bit of a bridged in there. That was awesome. Dragon Ball Z tier list. Interesting, interesting. So the next one's gonna be He-Man versus Lion O. I think He-Man. Oh, I, it, I, it's pretty sure it's like this uh, the show with like Skeletor or something. I don't. I don't know. I know nothing about those two. I know neither of those characters. So yeah, I understand uh, why everybody is so conflicted over Goku versus Superman. Uh, people said they like straight up lied about some stats. Um, so definitely let me know what stats those are because, like I said. Never watched Dragon Ball Z and never watched like Superman or anything like that. So definitely let me know in the comment section. I do read all of the comments and I reply to a lot of them. 
I love reading the comments. So I hope that you're subscribed so you can watch to uh, Death Battles, check out some other ones, check out my other series like Dragon Ball Z Abridged or Helsing Ultimate Abridged or Camp Camp or Ruby or Anime or anything like that. I'd greatly appreciate that. Um, like I said, we're not counting this one. Based off the information that they fed me as somebody who's coming in kind of unbiased because I've never watched either of the original shows, the information that they gave me said Superman. If the information that they had is wrong, then it means nothing, you know? So, I'm not really sure. Please let me know. I hope to see you next video. Until then, take care and also, cue the music. We were playing an asshole.